Like a little Mike Posner, you know what I'm saying? Probably one of the few songs that I like from him, but whatever, he's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, hey everyone, Costa Costa here with another video, and today I'm gonna be talking about the Rat Rig slider. And the reason why I picked this up is because most of the time I'm using a slider on a tripod. So this one comes, it's perfect. It comes without feet. As you can see here, there's nothing here. If you put it on the table, it's just gonna be bouncing around there's no feet if you want to buy the feet you gotta buy it separate and obviously this Joby head does not come with it I put it in there just uh, so I can use it as a so I can move it, you know the camera around and be able to get different angles and I'll show you guys some examples uh, of the um, shots I got with this as you can see here this look at how smooth this is it is very, very smooth for a cheap slider. Very good. The thing is, it's not motorized. There are uh, things you can buy extra as well to make it motorized, but to me, I really don't mess with that. I don't have a use for it anyway, so I don't even uh, have a motorized slider. But if you're gonna get this slider, it comes in just like that. And like I said, it's made by a company called Rat Rig. And I'm gonna give you the measurements right now. And from one end to the other, it is 24 inches exactly. So, and I don't use it all the way to the end when I have this on a tripod. I maybe use from here to here because even with a single tripod, depending what camera you have, once you get to the end, you're gonna get that little bend right there. So uh, if you have a really sturdy tripod or if you wanna use um, the attachments that they have and put it on two tripods, it'll be more stable. But uh, I just use it to get uh, quick shots of like product shots and things like that, which I will show you guys some of those shots down at the end. The Ret Rig is, like I said, this is a 24 inch. They make it a 10 inch one and they make bigger ones as well. And this one I believe comes in at about 80 to $100 maybe if I'm not mistaken. And I'll put down in the descriptions, there will be links if you wanna purchase this slider or a different size. Uh, look out for the links below in the description. So right now I'm gonna put this on a tripod just to show you guys a little bit how I set it up. So right now I'm gonna put a regular Manfrotto plate on this. And uh, you can see right there is just a Manfrotto plate and these things fit. I only use Manfrotto tripods, so it fits, this fits everything. So if you wanna get a shot with this uh, on the tripod, you can just put it like this. You just screw the plate on it, trying to make it as center as possible so that I don't get as much of a bend. I tried with little tripods, like the tabletop tripods. I tried to use this, but it was no match. Um, this was bending all over the place. So the minimum I would say is use like a cheap tripod with, uh, with a plate at least that it will keep it from bouncing too much, so from moving around. But I tried like with the Joby Gorilla pod and it wouldn't work or even like one of those, the, the Manfrotto like tabletop tripods and the thing was just so <laughs> it does not work but with this one right here it does work pretty good so um, I'm gonna show you some of the shots if you got maybe the 10 inch slider maybe you can use it with the tabletop tripod but the 24 inch is a little too much for that 
and this is how I have a setup right here and you would just uh, remove this Joby little plate right here I usually mount my camera to this and that's how I get some shots and with the tripod here with the ball head I can just move this all the way around as you guys can see it and uh, if I want to tilt the camera down I can do that or keep it up and um, that's about it and a lot of the times I'm actually just using my Canon G7X to get some shots with this very light camera the camera doesn't give too much so I can almost go all the way to the edge if I have like the Canon G7X I can almost get to the end with no issues of bending too much but if I have the 90D or like the AOSR here I'm going about that much about 10 10 inches of travel from here to here and you can still get some awesome shots so there's not much to talk about this is a single rail single rail slider that just works you just put it on a tripod toss it in your bag if you get a smaller one if you get the 10 inch one and if you're in a wedding and you want to get some nice smooth b-roll you don't want to use your gimbal all the time which is you know a slider I know people try to say they can use their hand use a gimbal but there's nothing like actually using a slider so uh, there are times where you actually do need a slider it's not all the time and when you want to make it the best a slider that's where it comes in you get that nice smooth shot of like you know just sliding away you can do up down sideways and uh, I just love a nice slider shot so uh, if you guys if you guys have any questions about this slider like I said all you get is the slider and that's it the Joby the head the video head you're gonna have to get yourself and also if you want the feet if you like to um, use the feet you're gonna have to uh, purchase those separate so um, there's not much to it like I said if you guys have any questions let me know down below and uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.